What the actual f Chris? I don't want to call him a Morning. But that is behaviour. You better hope Jada's feeling charitable. I think me and Jada have got a unique connection. I don't just whap out the space hopper for anyone. I don't want to balls this up again, so I'm going to have to bell Lou and just tell her what the sitch is. Right. Rip off the Band-Aid. Let's do it. Hi, Lou. Hello, are you okay? I just wanted to let you know that I had a really good time with you, mm -hmm. but there isn't going to be another date because I'm kind of exploring something with, with somebody else. No, I'm, I'm fine with it. I appreciate the honesty. And like, OK, you know, cool. That's, that's how things work out. All right, bye. Peace and love. Bye. <laughs> I mean, hopefully that's proved that I'm serious and we can get back on track now. Well, if only life was that easy, because emerging from the depths of Hades itself, it's Jada and she looked f***ing fuming. It was absolutely muggy central what he did last time I saw him. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not over it completely. I think I'm not going to be treated like a mug. I know my worth, I know who I am, I know what I stand for. And absolutely, you should be lucky to have me, darling. So he better be ready for it. I want an apology. If that's what I get, then happy days. If I don't get it, see you later. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? What's that? Yes, Jada, correct response. Am I supposed to sit on this? Is that my seat? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. There we go. This is actually for you. Is it? I thought if anyone's going to appreciate it, it's you. OK, sorry. I've sorry, named sorry. him Brian. OK. I think we get this kicked off by addressing the elephant uh, in the room. I don't actually know where to start. I don't know, really. I mean, made some interesting choices, but... Yeah, we met, got on really well. And then they put me on a date on this brunch with my perfect match. OK. Uh, and I'd literally had, like... 15 minutes to chat to her. And then they brought you back in. I wasn't expecting that. Caught off guard. And uh, <clears throat> and then, obviously, they gave me the choice. Your body language is gone already. I'm not doing a good job of this, am I? I'm trying to explain the situation to Jada, but think this is going to be considerably harder than I originally thought. But, yeah, so in my head, I was like, right, I've spent a good 24 hours with Jada. I've literally spent, like, 15 minutes with Luana. So I thought, let's make it fair. Hmm, OK. Over to you, Jada. I feel like what me off was I'm sat in a room and like I'm literally having to say how I can set with you in front of everyone like and then I'm being oh I'm gonna pick the other girl actually that makes me feel like I understand that do you know what I'm saying okay that was a really nice time that we had yeah Thought I actually got to know you on a deeper level you exceeded my expectations in that way like that's nice it's because better like, than over promising and under delivering well it? I haven't got to the end yet yeah but I need a space opera boy it was just, like, I felt muggy because it was like, I've come here thinking, OK, we actually had a connection. Surely that is worth more than a person you've met for 10 minutes. Yeah, no, I fully get that. And obviously, like, I've been on this pilgrimage of, of, of learning. Um, as Hey, don't roll your eyes. She can roll whatever the f she wants, mate. She's not happy. And I get it, but I feel like this is going one or two ways. Either I'm getting swilled, or it's going to be a jada-shaped hole in the door. My perspective was, was like, cool, you've got what you wanted from me, and now you've seen the next shiny thing. In the interest of extremes, honesty, I did kiss her as well. OK. So you know. Fine. Um, I feel like if I didn't tell you that, then I'd be hiding something from you. I don't, I don't, I don't care for the chaos of the drama. Like you need that. a little bit though. Fifteen percent. Well, you're providing the drama clearly. Like, <laughs> but keep it up, and I will smack you in the ball sack that you won't have any children left in your balls. How are you? Hi. Yeah, they're doing great actually. Hi. Thanks for asking. Hi. Nice to meet you. My name is Sylvia, madam. Nice Hi, Sylvia. Can we have a really sharp steak knife for a space offer, please? Well, thank the little baby Jesus for Sylvia. She's interrupted at the right time, but I do need to get this back on track. Would you like me to take your order for some more drinks? Uh, I will, de yeah, we'll definitely I'll have, have another one of those, yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, nothing calms a tense situation quite like a strong coffee and some booze. How do you feel, like, that date went? Like, how do you I'll feel, I'll be honest, like... the date went really well, but I just thought, like, actually, what we had was better than that. I was there in body, but maybe not so much in spirit. That's not strictly true, is it, Chris? It looked like you were there in mind, body and spirit to me. Do you know what I mean? I was more thinking about, like... Yeah, I think I've made a bad life decision here. Not okay. picking you. Like, it is what it is, isn't it, really? But, like, I'm also not a mug and I'm not a pushover. So, like, yeah, I know, I can tell that. I absolutely will not be taken for a f yet. I know what yeah. I'm worth. Like, yeah, I yeah. know I'm 
in 10 10. Like, I don't need someone, I don't care who you are. Like, I will not be disrespected. People can take it or they can leave it. I'll, I'll benefit in life. If not, see you later, hun. Jade gave me a bit of stick. I feel like this apology is going to be tough. But is it weird that I like this attitude? I'm kind of into it. Oh, come on, mate. Grow up. I think the one way I feel like you're truly going to, like, make me feel like you've um, made up to me is that if you do a lap on that. A lap of the restaurant? Absolutely. OK. I'm quite excited. I hope your trousers are ripped. It's not like... That's just, <laughs> that's just mean. Oh, it sticks to the floor. Now, normally, we'd slap some quirky music over this, but seeing as naughty Chris is paying his penance, he can do it in silence. Chop, chop. Afternoon, lads. How's it going? Leave the grown-ups in peace, Chris. <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had. In a restaurant. <laughs> the lap. <laughs> and he left Claridge's for this. I bet you've I made it. I hope I'm forgiven for that. <laughs> Poor Brian. He's been battered. He needs a wash. <laughs> He's been scraped along the floor and tea bag. Brian's calling HR as we speak. <laughs> now the heart rate has settled down. <laughs> I do have a I do have a question for you. There is a pool party type thing going on some point soon. And I would like you to, if you would do me the honour, be my guest of honour. I said honour twice. Yeah, I don't know how you feel about that. I'm like glad we like aired what we had to air. Like mm. I'm glad like you said your side, and I've kind of understood where your heads at with everything. I'm not gonna even answer for now. Okay. I'm gonna take a second and kind of like see how I feel. That's fair. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Okay. Left hanging like a well-aged slab of meat. But please. Um, take Brian with you. I actually never want to see him again for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It was really nice to be invited to the agent's pool party by Chris, but I do feel like I need to have a little think about it um, and see what I want to do, if I want to move forward with him. I am on the edge of my seat, like literally. Like I do, I would really genuinely like her to turn up to this pool party. Not only because I want to see her in a bikini again, because I genuinely enjoy her company. But sometimes this is life. She's got Brian. She's got a child now. She's got responsibilities. She might not turn up. She might be busy looking after Brian. Sorry to tell you this, Chris, but I think Brian's been stabbed with a stiletto and is floating down the Thames.